The periodic table is a way to systematically display the chemical elements. Now notice I said that it consists of chemical elements, and it consists of elements only. So this, this does not include uh, mixtures and compounds, because an element is basically matter in its most basic form. The periodic table positions chemical elements based upon atomic number. An atomic number is the amount of protons an atom has in its nucleus. So hydrogen is the first element on the periodic table because it has one proton in its nucleus. And then the next chemical element has more protons in its nucleus. Like I said, the periodic table arranges chemical elements very systematically. So if you were to take a look at one row on the periodic table, all the chemical elements on that one row would have the same number of electron shells. And if you were to take a look at one column, all the chemical elements in that column would have the same electron configuration. So the periodic table arranges the elements in such a way that all the elements are next to similar elements. So if a scientist knew a lot about one element, he could know a lot about the elements around it just because all the elements are grouped together with similar elements. There are about 118 elements out there, but only 114 have been officially recognized. And 98 of those are natural elements, ones that naturally occur in nature, such as potassium, nickel, and hydrogen. The other ones are synthetically produced by humans, such as Einsteinium. So the important thing to remember about the periodic table is that it consists of chemical elements and it is arranged by atomic number. If you need a study guide, click the book at the bottom of the page. If you want more free test videos, subscribe to us on YouTube. If you just want to keep watching, click the next video.